Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine. Yeah, it's cold. It's real cold. Right now, it's probably, the air temperature is probably around 28 degrees. Cold with a light breeze. The surface temperature is at 42 on top. Now, I'm back up in here in the area. Well, I haven't fished since, I'm going to say around 1992, 93, something like that. But I remembered this place. It's a place where I've caught a lot of crappie about this time of the year, I believe. And it's way back up in a creek. It's a creek that meanders its way back to the main part of the creek. Um, a lot of times, that's where the fish will, will get. Now, I haven't tested around in any other areas. I just wanted to fish here. I'm just exploring. Stay with me. Let's see what we can do. Now, <clears throat> this creek right here is dangerous. Uh, I mean, you got to stay within the markers precisely. It's real narrow. Shallow water over here and shallow water over here. Matter of fact, you may be able to see these stumps sticking out right here. If you don't go by these markers, uh, you'll end up in trouble. There's been a lot of boats, uh, boat motors, uh, holes, touring holes here. So I always idle in areas like this. Used to, back in my young days, when I was a young buck, okay, I used to go down through here and not think anything about it. Full speed ahead. Now that I'm older, well, I don't do that no more. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to work back up in here and see what we can do. Let's go catch another. Woo! No, Richard, don't do it. Don't do it. Ugh. There's some birds right there. Canadian honkers right there. But what I'm going to do today is just cast. Probably end up just casting. Trying to locate some crappie. Cover a little bit of water. This is a canyon creek super ultra light seven foot rod and it is limber as a dish rag i have four pound test high vis mr crappie line on using a little daiwa reverus lt 1000 and my bait well it's tied with a loop knot no doubt it's just a 132nd ounce jig head with a blue ice bobby garland that's going to suit this water clarity right here or it should. Now I'm noticing that they're pulling a little bit of water through this creek, a little bit of current. And uh, I really don't know how deep the fish are right now. But I, in here I have eight to 11 feet of water all the way down through here. So if there's fish here, they're going to be pretty shallow. They're going to be high up in the water column, I imagine. Probably three, four, five feet deep. Suspended. But it's been quite a few years since, like I said, since I've been back up in here. So I'm going to have to hunt them. Uh, it don't look nothing like I imagine it would be look would look because it's been so long since i've been back up in here there we go well we started off with a little bitty crappie Let's see what we got right there that's a little black crappie let's let him go right here what i done right there just i don't know if y'all can tell it or not but there's some current in here What I did basically is just hold my jig in there and just barely, barely moved it. 
I'm just barely moving it, hardly no action. That's just typically the way I fish for crappie. Real slow. I tell you, for cold water though, that's quite a bit of current. Crappie normally don't like current. They don't like current at all, or very little. I'm pretty sure y'all can see that current right there. See how it's coming around in post, hitting in post, making the water look different there. Pretty good amount of current, but those fish are laying about right there. I tied me another jig on, so we're ready for them. Let's pick it up and just hold it. Little bit of movement, but not much. There we go. Okay. We got some fish right there. I missed him. Let's, let's go ahead and catch him. I don't know if he's big or little. He ain't going to do me like that. I'm going to put a hook in him, folks. Should be right in front of his face right now. As we speak. There we go. Yep, that's a white crappie. We're getting better. We're getting a lot better right here. <laughs> I don't know if that's the same fish that bit right there, but I probably. He hit it short. What he done? I just put it right back in front of his face again. Now, I like to do that. Uh, if I miss one, I want to catch him. I don't like missing them. Y'all don't either. Now, that's the first white crappie. Let's let him go. Look here. Oh, my. What do we got? Come on out there. Come on back here. Now we're getting into a better fish right here. If we'll step up another inch or inch and a quarter, we'll have a good crappie. But that's a good one right there. Darn good one. White crappie. Let's let him go. Look here. They. I'm talking about they. I'm not talking about woo. Hey, man. Whoa. Whew. I can't help it. A little something wrong. The only thing wrong with me is I've got what you call fish brain disease. That's the only thing wrong with me. Except for I like to eat beans. Let's see if we can catch our another one right here. Let's raise that rod up and let's just go ahead and catch our another one. Look here. These is white crappie. I started off catching some little bitty black crappie. Now I'm into these good, pretty good white crappie fish right here. Hey, whoa. Flip him in. Quit. I don't know how he come off. He's hooked good. That's just right to eat. Pert near it. There he goes. Whew. My goodness, how many fish is back up in there? I don't know where these fish come from. I fished it pretty hard for a while and just, I was catching a lot of black crappie. And all of a sudden it just like they just moved in. Look here. <laughs> oh man there's not too much it ain't no tricks in this these fish are extremely active all i'm doing is catching fish right now go on back pick it up and just bring it back slowly 
and that line it'll go thump like that and you just hey that's all they are to it but now they're getting a little bit smaller than what they was that's a little black crappie right there okay let him go main thing is is after you find how deep they are folks like we have here once it gets to that depth when you bring that jig back keep it at that depth by reeling it real slow and keeping your rod tip around that 10 o'clock position and then catching that those are bluegill on that side i'm going to try one more time but i'm pretty well convinced they're bluegill now what Watch me catch the biggest crappie. There's one. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing right here. This one dock is responsible for about 55 or 60 fish already. I tell you, when you find a concentration of fish like this, folks, you can leave them. Let's let him go right here. Leave them. Take a little pressure off of them. And come back. And this is what will happen right here. You'll catch a few more. When they shut off. When you find a lot of them and you're catching them, catching them, catching them. All of a sudden they just shut off. Uh, let them cool down a little bit. Leave. And then come back and start catching you some more fish. Now that one wound it right there. That's just a little tilt right there because they won't leave uh, when you find a big concentration like this. Uh, well, sometimes they will, but usually they're there for a reason. It's just a good ambush point to feed. They're there for a reason. And uh, let's let this one go right here. One reason they're loaded up on this dock is because there's a lot of brush under it. Now, I've lost about three jigs right here, which I didn't have to. I could have put me a weedless jig on and still caught them and not lost any jig, jigs at all. But there's a lot of small fish in here, so I just selected not to do that. If they were bigger than what they, there's one, than what they was. <laughs> that fish rudely interrupted me then i'd use a weed guard because i'd miss a lot of these fish right here a lot of the most of these crappie are small but slow is the key and use that trolling motor just as less as you possibly can but these fish is just staying put and another thing i failed to mention too you'll get many more bites if you'll face the current now right in here there's a pretty good amount of current which i've mentioned let the bait flow back towards you naturally i don't care for my wife tell me what to do most of the time yeah 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 she's right but i don't want her hollering and screaming at me it hurts my feelings and it makes me mad I ain't no dog to be hollered at and screamed at like a dead blame old stinking old dog laying up under a porch or something. All right, let's go on up here and try a couple more docks right here, folks, and see what we can do. Now, these two docks right here are positioned right in the bend of the creek. And, uh, yeah. We should be able to catch a couple more fish right here. The fish is slowing down. It's on up in the day now. And they're starting to slow up. That's typical of crappie. Right in the middle of the day. You can see it's a little bit after 12 o'clock. That's about when they taper down. Usually, and the bite don't usually pick up to around 2.30, 3 o'clock. That's just another little thing that 
uh, they'll just do that. <laughs> they just will. That's just a crappie, even in the winter. And sometimes they'll bite all day, but let's see what we can do. This dock right here is a little deeper than the one I found all them fish on. There we go. There's one. Off a different dock right here. Let's let him go. Let's see if there's a big one there, folks. Should be. There's some cover right there. I almost got hung up in it. There we go. Snatching them out. One after another one. This is not the dock. This has nothing to do with the dock right here at all. This is just a isolated piece of cover. It may be, I don't know what it is. I hadn't went over it with my depth finder yet. I just know I almost got hung up in it. And there's some fish right there. Piece of cover, I mean, and it's, it's probably a tree. Part of a tree right here. That's attracting some fish. That's a pretty good one. Where are you going, son? Just come out, finally. That's a pretty good black crappie. First time the sun's been out today. Boy, it feels good. It is cold out here. Thank the Lord for that. I was about to freeze to death. Let's let him go. Man, I was about to freeze. I can't even feel my old nose. Go back in there. Talking about noses, old Clarence. Uh, ah, let's don't talk well he won't cut the dead blind uh, nose hairs out of his nose and i don't know why he won't all right folks i want to share something with y'all um i'm gonna read a letter to you because it's touching uh this is from a fan Dear Richard, I want to thank you for all the videos you share with us. I'm sending you this brand new, never used GoPro Hero 9 in hopes it will help you bring, to help you keep bringing joy and peace of mind to millions of watchers all over the world, or all, all over. Your devotion to Christ and the way you live, I know I'm sowing into good ground. Your friend, Tim Shelton, or Sh Shelton, from E-U-T-O-A-W, Alabama, Utah. And um, I want to give a special shout out to you, sir. Um, and by the way, this video was shot with, with this GoPro 9. Um you're right uh there's a purpose for everybody in everything and i think the lord has given me a purpose here to do that and let everybody that knows that that watches know that god is real and jesus christ died on the cross for you and me and, and that's just all they are to it to believe that is to know it for a fact folks despite of everything that's happening in the world today god is in control not the people not man god is and everything is in his plan okay i want to thank y'all very much for watching all the great comments whoa i'm talking about Woo! And remember, go fishing when you can, but all this good first.